Virus are friends too, and you are their best friend. The virus needs you, and you need the virus. At any given time, your body consists of innumerable cells, but not all of them are you exactly. In fact, more than half of what is you are microorganisms that each a right on and inside your body. The average human is known to have about 40 trillion microbes against 30 trillion of their own cells. And outside of your body, there are trillions more. Wow, that kind of feels pretty crowded like a mobile bus. Let's take a closer look at them, starting from the largest size to the tiniest microorganism, along with the diseases they inflict on humans and animals. Cowlope is the largest single cell organism in the world. It's also seaweed and it can reach almost 10 feet in length. Bubble algae, 1.8 inches in size, is a single cell water plant that often infect fish. They look like small green bubbles. Gromia spherica, 1.7 in diameter. You can clearly see it at the bottom of the ocean. Yep, it's still a single cell cell. Stentor, 2 millimeter, is probably the largest microbes that is not micro any longer. A tenth of an inch in size is not a joke. Tio Margarita. Eh, this is not an average beverage for Cinco de Mayas. At 0.75 millimeter, it's even bigger microbes. If you put it next to a fruit fly, you will see it is half size of the insect. Amoeba Proteus or amoeba as we call it in Africa. At 0.5 millimeter, it's one of the largest microbes. It's so big, it can be seen without a microscope. Gallionella, 400 micrometer, has been known for centuries because it oxidizes iron. In other words, it makes them rust. Paramecium, 300 micrometer, is quite huge for a bacterium and is often used in studies and a showcase for microbiology students. Spirochita, 250 micrometer, is a peaceful microbe that live in water, both fresh and salt water. Foraminifera, 200 micrometer, is the largest group of microbes that has cell wall shells. These shells are called test. Ceratium, 190 micrometer, is covered in a sort of armor and its two long and peculiar arms, otherwise called on. Vorticella, 150 micrometer, is a bacterium that's really picky when it comes to living condition. If they don't like their current place, they change it. Flexibacter, 100 micrometer, it only affects fish, causing various health issues in them. Iglyphid, 750 micrometer, is an amoeba that is really important for the environment. It takes part in the decomposition process, kind of like what Mozart is doing right now. You know, decomposing. <laughs> Alternaria, 60 micrometer, is bad for plants and humans alike, causing asthma and other respiratory issues. Didanium, 50 micrometer, is another amiable microbes out there at least for humans because they only feed on specific type of bacteria. Cyanobacteria, 30 micrometer, is also known as blue-green algae, lives in pond and other still water as well as inside your stomach. Alessandrium, 25 micrometer, is one unfriendly bug. Most of its representatives are toxic. Borrelia, 20 micrometer, is not easy to get, but if you do, run to the doctor. It's one of the causes of highly dangerous Lyme disease. Clostridium, 18 micrometer, is one of the nastiest bacteria that causes severe health issues, such as diarrhea, and worst of all, it's highly contagious and abundant in hospital. Treponema, 17 micrometer, is just like candida, goes about its own business in your mouth without doing harm, but isn't to be messed around with. Soctoria, 15 micrometer is a bug that commonly lives in the water, sometimes decide to chill on the skin of an aquatic animal, such as seals. Giardia, 14 micrometer, can be ingested from water, oh boy, they can give you a nasty diarrhea. Oof. Candida, nope, it wasn't discovered by the Canadian. Candida the bug, at 12 micrometer, is a yeast that sleeps quietly in your body, but if something is wrong, it awakens and goes all nasty, leading to yeast infection. So, if you have been feeling itchy lately down there, it might be these guys right here. Cladosporium, 11 micrometer, is what you see on your cheese or bread when they go bad, and the same thing lives inside your mouth. Ugh, yucky. Plasmodium, 10 micrometer, is a parasite that lives in mosquito saliva. They are responsible for malaria. Lactobacilli, 9 micrometer, is another good stuff 
found in fermented milk. It makes your inside goes all cozy in content. Mmm, yummy. Labrintula, 8 micrometer, is a weird thing that includes parasitic species as well as symbiotic. I cannot tell you which one is which though. Sorry. Rhodotorula, 7.5 micrometer, is another fungus that lives inside you. Not on your skin though, thank goodness. I won't tell you where, you can find it yourself. Bifidobacterium, 7 micrometer, is good for you. Trillions of them can be found in a fermented milk product such as cottage cheese and your lovely yogurt. Yup, Aquifex, 6 micrometer, is a bacterium that can easily survive boiling water. It's just a bit too hot for them though. Malassezia, 5.5 micrometer, is the only fungus that you will find thriving right on top of your skin. Yes, it's there. At this very moment, be sure to say hi. Babesia, 5 micrometer, is another bug carried in the saliva of ticks. It almost affects dogs and cattle and as well as horses. Penicillium, 4.5 micrometer, is most famous for helping discover what? Penicillin. Yes, you said it right. In the 20th century, it is a powerful antibacterial medicine, still effective until today though. B. subtilis, 4 micrometer, is something you will find 100%. If you dig up a soil in your backyard, they are very common. Aloquadra, 3.5 micrometer, is the only microorganism that is perfectly square in shape. Others are either round or elongated. Bocoderia, 3.2 micrometer, is very good for the environment, but at the same time, it is very bad for humans. Acetobacter, 3 micrometer, is a useful type of bacteria that we use in the production of both fertilizers and food additive. Ooh, I wish I didn't know that. Now you know, P. larvae, 2.5 micrometer, is a nasty bug. This is well known to the beekeepers because it interferes with the bees, making them sick. Aloferas, 2.3 micrometer, is another type of bacteria that can potentially survive mass condition. If there is going to be life on the mass, it's going to be these guys. Enterococcus, 2 micrometer, can be found almost anywhere in the world, including your stomach. So, say hello to your little friend, Acidilobos, 1.7 micrometer. Feels pretty comfortable when the temperature of water eats 185 Fahrenheit. Pytovirus is one of the largest virus ever found at 1.5 micrometer. Brucella, 1.4 micrometer, is a type of bacteria that affects mostly humans and their drug friends. If you get ill, you get ill together. Pneumococcus, 1.3 micrometer, is a pathogen that often causes serious lung problems. I am sure you might have heard about pneumonia. B. Safiness, 1.2 micrometer, which was first discovered on a spacecraft returning from Mars. I hope it remains in Mars though. I do not even want to imagine what the space microbes can do to humans. Moracella, 1 micrometer, is as common bacterium as it gets. It is of normal size and shape. It is normally present in humans. Quite boring for me if you ask me. Pandora virus, 1 micrometer. Luckily, this guy only affects amoeba. Ebola virus, 950 nanometer, is a thin but very long virus native to Africa. You've probably heard about these guys too. Sophilobus, 900 nanometer, is a bacterium that not only loves it but also feeds on sulfur, just like another microbium on this list. Alococcus, 850 nanometer long. These guys form sheets and water body settlement, painting them in bright color. Europyrium, 800 nanometer, is yet another bacteria type that, like it hot, you can often find it chilling with other eat loving microbes. Badna virus, 750 nanometer, is a giant and peculiar for its name. Its abbreviation of bacilli form DNA virus and yes, it is bad for you. Megavirus 750 nanometer is the first giant virus discovered after the Mimi virus yet is still not the largest. Apicomplex 650 nanometer is a micro family is almost completely made up of parasites. They can be really nasty too. Neseria 600 nanometer has a living species, 9 of them which are completely harmless for humans. The other two though can be quite annoying. At 500 nanometer, Mimi virus was thought to be the largest virus until few other types were discovered several years after. Ferroplasma, 400 nanometer, feed 
of sulfide minerals, that is, they eat sulfur. Wow. Variola virus, 360 nanometer, is a virus that is all but extinct in human. Thanks to vaccine, it is also known as smallpox. Chlamydia, 300 nanometer, are one of the bad bacteria on this list that can be really nasty if they get inside your body. Thermoplasma, 250 nanometer, a bacteria that are also adore and thrive in high temperature. They can be found in hot spring. Herpes virus, 200 nanometer, has a lot of types, but only nine of them are hazardous for humans and common among them too. Rabies, 180 nanometer, is a virus that doesn't like fooling around. It causes inflammation of the brain and medical help is necessary. Chlorobium, 170 nanometer, is the second bacteria on this list. It lives in hot spring and loves sulfur. Measles, 150 nanometer, is something you'll forget about if you just use a vaccination against it. It's simple as that. SARS virus, 120 nanometer, it's probably the hardest of all viruses, causing trouble with respiratory tracts and lungs. Rictasia virus is 100 nanometer in diameter and causes spotted fever in animals. Influenza, 100 nanometer long and causes the disease we all know as flu. Rota virus might be the reason why my little nephew occupies the bathroom for so long the other day. Mm. Otobona virus, 750 nanometer, is usually to be blamed if not you, but your car will get a runny nose. Alpha virus, 70 nanometer, is much more dangerous, carried by ticks and it causes encephalitis. Adenovirus, 65 nanometer, is one of the culprits you should blame when you get a runny nose and cough. Now you know, HPV, 60 nanometer, is kind of harmful, but in most cases, it goes away without causing discomfort and never comes back. Lambda phage, 58 nanometer, is actually one of the good virus for you on this list because they feed on harmful bacteria. Zika virus, 55 nanometer, is why you should avoid mosquitoes if you travel across Africa. Hepatitis C, 50 nanometer, is more diverse and can be found not only in humans but horses and dogs too. HBV, 42 nanometer, seems to be one of the most ancient human viruses found in our distant ancestor. HAV is 30 nanometer long and is the smallest of the herpes virus that affect humans which doesn't make it less nasty. Calpe mosaic virus, it only affects cow plants and makes their leaves look like a mosaic. Bromovirus, 26 nanometer, is carried naturally by bugs and the plants have to suffer the consequences. Good lord. Despite being 20 nanometers long, parvovirus is no laughing matter. If you have push, you better protect them from this one. Horsin sarcovirus, 17 nanometer, and only pig should be afraid of this. And finally, the world tiniest single cell doesn't even even have name yet. It's 9 nanometer long. 150,000 of these little critters sit at the tip of your hair right now. Nah, it's not dandruff. So there you have it. I told you virus have friends too. It is a whole bunch of bugs. I feel like I need a shower right now though. Ew. Let me know in the comment section how you feel right now. If you are new to this channel Back to Land & Co, please kindly subscribe and as always, don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you, God bless you and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Rrrr. Yeah.